in the real world, the solar panels degrade over time. It used to be 20 years. And in that time, they would not pay for themselves economically, nor would they pay for themselves in terms of the energy they created. There's still a bit of a problem there that while they are getting cheaper for you to afford, they do require a lot of electricity to make. And it has only been in the past five or six years that these panels will actually make more electricity than they cost to make in the first place. So they're still not as green as people think they are. The panels now typically are claimed to drop about 10% in the first 10 years. Some companies are claiming less. But if they are not properly installed, they can lose 80% in just a couple of years. The solar panels want sunlight, not heat. Electronics generally do not like hot temperatures. They will cook themselves to death if they are installed incorrectly. So they need to be installed in an area where they don't overheat. The problem now is that solar is becoming popular and so questionable companies are in on it. And this means you really need to do your research before you buy solar panels for your home. In terms of household energy consumption, Canadians are the gluttons of planet Earth. We use more energy per person than anyone else, about 12,000 kilowatt hours per year. So the equivalent of leaving a 12,000 watt light bulb on 24 hours a day, okay? That's a ridiculous amount. If we look at the rest of the world, Australia, France, Japan, the United Kingdom, Germany, Spain, Italy, these are all nice places to live. There's nothing wrong with these countries. They're very modern. Their energy use is profoundly lower than ours. What do all these things have in connection? Well, they do tend to have better weather than us, but the Russians don't, and the Russian use is a fraction of ours. So we really love our electricity in Canada. In the last calculation, we worked out that it would cost about $3,000 to get a single kilowatt hour per year. Okay, we need 12 kilowatt hours. So to run our panels, we would need more than 10 of those panels to generate the energy we needed by the end of the year. It would cost you about $36,000 to go off the grid. Okay. What if we took out a loan? I go in here and I click on Bank of Montreal and I get their loan calculator come up. And I want a loan, let's call it 40000 I want a $40,000 loan. Let's say we can get it at 4%. And we spread it out over 20 years. It's going to cost us $242 a month. If I manage to spread it out like my mortgage and they agree to this, it could be 211 a month. But interest rates vary. Some personal loans will be like that. That's about as high as you're gonna pay. If you're lucky and you already own a house, maybe you could get a loan as low as that, but I doubt it. So we'll go back to 4%. 211, 5%, 234 a month. You are gonna spend about the same retiring that loan. 25-year loan for solar panel? Not likely. Most of them will be about 15 years. And at 15 years at 5%, your solar panels are going to cost you 316 a month. So it's just doable. 316 a month for 15 years, and after that, no more cost for your solar panels, and you're providing 100% of your house power off this? It's just, just to the point where caring about the environment is actually not gonna ding your pocketbook. 
but we're talking it's a really close call on this one. 